Because for me, also, sex is a very romantic thing, but it's also a non-very romantic thing. It's a very uh, practical thing. This is where I like, this is the way I like it. And there's not a lot more to it, is it? Like with all these things, like the woman that I talked about earlier and the last girl I dated are two completely different people. Like, and sexually, I mean. The first one that like told me she had problems like having orgasms and things. I mean, I tried really, really hard with her constantly. And the thing you were talking about, she bought books like about the like female anatomy and things and told me exactly what she wants and what she likes. But even her masturbating took like a long time. And the last girl I dated was very simple and knew exactly what she had to do and what I had to do. And she could have orgasms very quickly and very often. So, I mean, it, women are different in the way that they go about having orgasms or dealing with sex in general. Every person is different, men, men and women. Well, men are easy. Like, I mean, well, I, I don't know. I Maybe I can only that. speak for myself. I don't know. Like, I'm easy. <laughs> like, I mean, it doesn't take a lot for me, but... Yeah, but is it... Are we talking about... Well, I think we're talking about two different things. Are we talking about... Sex or orgasm? Is that are what Are we mean? talking about satisfactory sex in, ter in terms of orgasm or... or satisfactory sexual relationship between a romantic relationship I mean this is also I think a big man versus woman pro problem I think or at least it is for me because with me uh, as a man like orgasm uh, orgasm equals sex like for me yeah. and for I think women and I live with two lesbians and I th I think with women in general it's not necessarily that. I think it's just good sex and or and it and they take their time. So let's start over. What's good sex? Uh, I think enthusiasm is like a big part of it, or probably the biggest part of it. Yeah, like a like large sexual motivation. What's good sex? I don't know. I think it depends on on who I'm with. I, I there has to be. Well, good sex means that it's good for me and for the person that I'm having sex with. So I don't know. Good sex. Good sex from a female perspective, dude. It's yeah, what's hard. a good sex? I don't know. Because sometimes good sex is orgasms, how many and how good and how long they are. And sometimes good sex is how much in tune you are with the person you are and how much you know, the whole moment is enhanced by whatever you're doing. But it doesn't matter if it's you know, if there is any orgasms in it. Sometimes the orgasms and how sat satisfactory they are are not the sex at all. So it's complicated. But going back to the, to the original question, good sex is the best, no sex is the second best, and bad sex is the worst. Because it leaves you really feeling really weird. Well, that's where we started. I think uh, good sex, bad sex, no sex in that order, where like I think even bad sex is better than no sex. I think it's a male versus female thing. I honestly do, because I think even if I if I come, it's more like a release thing. It's something that, like, I don't know about women, but like I have to do it on a very regular basis, whether I'm like with a woman or not, you know, just to stay regular in my days, you know? Like, or without going crazy, you know? Like, if I'm not, like, having sex, I'm masturbating on a regular basis, and that's what's going to happen. I don't know if women are the same way, but you need to have that release. I, I, I agree with Ruth. Sex, for me, is like, like you know, building or, or creating or working towards creating something with a relationship. You know, I just, that's the, the way it is. I mean, well, it, sex with another person. Well, I guess it is for me, too. I mean, if I'm masturbating, I'm trying to build a relationship with me in some way. <laughs> but, um... The, the idea is, like, I, I would just much rather not have sex and, you know, pour my energy into finishing a film, working on a proposal, or... How do you even equate the two? <laughs> I know, where do you, it's weird. Where do you go, how is that, like... Do you put sexual energy into your, into yeah. like, your artistic endeavors? Yeah, I... They're I, separate I, from... Hold me. on, hold I'll on. I'll tell you no, what, no, I'll I write work, and I will I go will, masturbate 15 times I while I'm writing something. I will work 20 hours a day. Yeah, but how many times are And sit in the same place and I'll just eat it. donuts. That's and I will focus on... It's not bullshit, you know that, because I do it. <laughs> I've done it for the past six months. I just sit there in well, my... you don't have a private place to go. 
Is that that is my problem? <laughs> that is That's your problem. <laughs> it is. I'm a I'm, I'm in a zoo. I'm a fucking monkey in a zoo, <laughs> no, and I don't like to I don't like to masturbate in front of the people that are at the zoo. It's just I you know I just need to work, that, and that's. That's why I stay in the zoo. Do you think that, do you think work is getting in the way of your sexual life? Well, I, uh, I both do. I mean, sex gets in the way of, of working, and work gets in the way of sex, and so I'm just a I'm a monk right now making video. You need you need to to work out a good closet like this. I, I, <laughs> you do. <need> <laughs> you need to work yourself a good closet.